Here are five incredibly professional ways to animate your logo in After Effects. With the following techniques, you'll be able to create countless 3D logo animations and tailor them to fit your style. So let's jump in and get started. All right, so we'll start off simple. And as we go through the techniques, you'll be able to build more advanced logos in a very understandable way. The first level of logo we have here is the clean and simple animation that will work for the majority of cases. You need to have the vector file of your logo. This is either a .ai, which is an Illustrator file, or a .eps file. You can then right click the logo and then select create shapes from vector layer and boom, this will give you a shape layer, which is something we can make 3D by popping in that beautiful cube. Now, of course, use the advanced 3D or cinema 4D renderer option from the drop down here, though advanced 3D is the best for what we're doing. Then go to the extrusion depth of your logo and increase the value to make the logo, well, actually 3D. <laughs> and then you may stylize this with convex and increase the bevel depth to around five to smooth out the edges but this is just a personal preference of mine. Now, depending on your logo, you may want to increase the specular shininess to 100% or somewhere in the middle there, but with multi-color logos, the default setting should look fine. Now, for the exciting part, what's cool about shape layers is that if your logo has multiple elements to it, you have the option to animate separate objects inside of that shape layer, but you'll need to place that isolated path into a new group then add a fill parameter before you can actually keyframe anything up. Then of course for the master animation, it's up to you, but I'll add keyframes for position and rotation, and then I'll set the Y rotation to 180 degrees, and then adjust the position to have this fly past the screen. And then now we should have an incredibly clean logo reveal. You just can't go wrong with the style and there's unlimited ways to animate your logo. So have some fun. But now the second style is about taking your logo to the next level and giving it a polished look. So jumping where we left off, we can overhaul this scene by creating a white solid, make it 3D, set its X rotation to 90 degrees and lower its Y position so that's right under your logo and you can see it just clip right there. Then scale this like crazy because this is gonna be the dance floor for our shadows. Because if you create a new light, and specifically an environment light with shadows enabled, you'll get this beauty. Just make sure cast shadows and accept shadows are enabled for your logo and for your floor layer. And for further customization, you can change the color of the side of your logo when all your shape layer components are inside the same group. Then select that group and add side, color and then change the color to whatever that you like and you know pretty cool though to take the overhaul to the greatest of heights you can completely change the look of your scene by using hdr eyes uh, and you can get these for free when you just do a quick search are very easy to find then just set the light to your hdr and boom instant change though you may want to adjust your light's intensity and the floor shininess to experiment with the overall look but as you can see we now have a more polished logo reveal Next up, we'll get into the advanced logos, but to produce advanced work in no time without the sweat, get access to our library of 40,000 plus templates and presets for After Effects and Premiere Pro. With our free motion duck extension, you can animate entire projects in seconds or even complete an entire logo project in under a minute. But be sure to get our free pack, and if you do pick up anything, you'll be supporting this channel, so thank you very much. Now, back in this, we're gonna be jumping into advanced territory, but truthfully, the hard stuff is out of the way because we're going to create this easy stroke animation and it's easy. So just about everything is pretty much the same as the previous example, other than I just changed out the logo and the logo's uh, specular shininess is at 0%. Also for the floor, I'll just push a 3D white solid back in the Z space and then scale it up. Now, because our logo is a shape layer, you can easily turn off the fill and enable stroke. And then you can set the stroke width to whatever fits your scene. Now, depending on your logo, the stroke may look awkward. So to help remedy the situation, try adding the offset paths property, which can widen the logo back to its original size. Now, add trim paths and then animate the start from zero to 100% to give you a stroke reveal. And then you can also change the multiple shapes to individually if you would like to do that. And for us to actually say, you know, wow, this is cool. Create a camera layer, the 50 mm preset is fine. And then split the layer at four seconds. So you have two cameras. And with the first camera selected, you can easily zoom in and swing around your logo just using the camera tools here at the top. Just cycle C on your keyboard to easily switch between them. 
I would also take a close look at keyframing the Z rotation of your logo to make it appear you're spinning around. And for the final camera, go ahead and keyframe the position and a point of interest to do essentially a slow zoom out by using the dolly towards cursor tool. And for more on the stroke logo animation, you can watch my expand tutorial on this in the description below. Now let's move on to logo number four, which is the most cinematic of the bunch because it's all about lighting. For this scene, we're not going to be using any HDRIs, just the default environment light. So firstly, I want to use a texture or just a cool looking image for my floor. So when you have something delightful, pre-compose it and make it a 3D layer and then just push it back under your logo uh, in Z position space. Now you're going to want to increase the textures and the logo specular shyness to probably 100% for this. Next, you're going to want to mess with the lights rotation values to get somewhat a contrasted look. And then you're going to want to alt cut the stopwatch for the Y rotation and use the time asterisk 100 expression to essentially time lapse the movement of the light. And it looks pretty solid. And to finish off the effect, just animate the light's intensity from 0 to 100% to reveal the scene on. Feel free to add your camera movement and pro tip and your texture's composition. You can use the curves effect to brighten up the background so that you can actually see more details in your main composition. All right, we made it to the end. And the last technique you need to know is how to combine your logo with custom shapes. So first things first, you can make any shape that you create a 3D object by slapping in that cube icon. Just increase the extrusion depth and then you can build more complex objects with a little bit of creativity by say duplicating the shape turning it into a stroke only and then increase the extrusion depth by a touch and reposition the Z value to create this overlap. Then apply any of the material options like the shininess as we've talked about and animate your objects with your logo as you see fit. Subscribe to be the best and always be creating.